I'm in India and my boyfriend at the time and I rented a big old yellow taxi. Now in India, <clears throat> the it's like the big old American taxi cabs. They're, they're these huge, huge taxis and the back seat is like a big bucket seat. And my boyfriend and I sat back to back with our feet out the window. We had Led Zepp playing on the tape recorder and we were just smoking and watching the world go by. And we were heading to a place called Jog Falls, which is a waterfall. And in India, um, you're guaranteed at some point to get Delhi Belly. With, I mean, it's just gonna happen. Like, just don't think that you can go there and be like, oh, I'm gonna get it. But it's, it'll, it'll come and you'll have it. So anyway, we're driving along and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need a toilet soon. And we say to the taxi driver, how, how long is it until we get to Jog Falls? And he's like, oh, I'm not gonna do the Indian accent. Sorry, it's like, oh, it's not very long. And I'm like, okay, all right. And I said to John, I said, look, when we get there, um, make sure you take the tape out of the player because we can't lose our Led Zepp tape because, um, you know, Led Zepp was the thing that we loved and it was a cassette, you know, like a tape cassette. And so I was like, we can't, we can't leave the cassette in the car, but when we get there, I'm going to literally have to jump out of the car and go to the toilet. So if you can imagine this, where we are the taxi. Okay. And over there where the banisters are, maybe make that four times the length and there's a toilet and it's standing and it's just like, it's like a big toolbox, just a toolbox standing there, right? But you can see the feet of people and you couldn't see my head, but if I'd gone on tiptoes, I could have looked over the top. And so from the car park, you can see the, the thing. Anyway, so I run over, run over to the toilet and I open the door and it's just, it's just like a, so, and it's not a real proper lock or anything like that. So. Can you see that on the chair? Can we see the chair? Can we see the chair? Right. So, yes. This, this, this is, this is, we're not going to call it that. So, I now need to go to the loo desperately and I open the door and the, in the loo, it's like a flower pot that's upside down, okay? So it's a big round, round, it's huge, but it's like a big, you know, like a V shape, a flower pot like that, but it's upside down. So it's wide at the bottom and narrow at the top and it's high, you know, like the top of the flower pot is about, hang on a minute. I have to measure. So I had to get on my tiptoes and I had to <laughs> I had to spread my legs over the flower pot, right? And get my bum up high enough so that, because I wasn't gonna sit. You don't sit on toilets in India. It's definitely a hovering situation. You don't, you don't wanna do any sitting on any toilets. And we're talking long drop. We're not talking a toilet with a flush. We're talking a long drop loo, right? So here I am, right? I've got the door. They, people can see my feet, right? Nobody can see my head. And my boyfriend is in the car park with all the other cars in the car park. So I've got my legs spread like this, right? And long drop toilets, right? When you're in there, there are monsters in the bottom of the toilet. There are snakes, there aren't. This is all in my imagination. But there, the, the devil spawn is in the base of that toilet. I mean, like, it's just like, it's just waiting to come out and bite you on the bum. There's a tapeworm that's just sitting inside the lid and it's gonna go, and you're just like, oh God, I, do, I just I need to go to the toilet, but I don't want to go to the toilet. And fuck, I just, I just, oh my God, what am I going to do? So I'm, I'm there. 
And I'm like, oh God, the devil is in the toilet. He's going to come up and it's going to bite my bum. And I'm going. And I'm like, I'm just going to go as fast as possible. Because I need out of here. Plus the stench. The stench. You're eating it. It's like, ah, 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 ah. it's very bad. It's very, very bad. It's very, very, very bad. Anyway, as I'm in my new high heel boots, here I am. I'm on the edge and it's going. And something comes up and touches me on my ass. And I'm like, fuck this shit. I'm out of here. So I literally, my knickers around my ankles, I sling open the saloon door and now I'm running into the car park with my pants around my ankles, screaming my fucking head off. Bush is, because it's the 80s, flailing in the wind. Ah! Something's in the toilet. I turn around, I look, and somehow, some fucking how, I had managed on the edge of the toilet of the upside down flower pot, my little poo had made a little leaning tower of Pisa and it had come up and kissed me on my own ass. And literally, we're talking about half of India is in the car park. Not only am I standing there with my pants around my ass, my muff available to the whole world, now the leaning tower of Pisa is standing on the edge of my little fucking flower pot that's upside down. And my boyfriend's just like, oh my God, oh my God. And I'm like, ah! So then I'm like running back to the fucking long drop loo. My bum, oh my God, in close. And I'm like, oh, for the love of God. I'm like, the devil's spawn is still down there. Now I've got to fucking take my poo and flomp it in the toilet. You don't have toilet paper in India. They have like water and cups. So now I'm fucking dousing myself with water trying to get rid of the thing that has occurred. And then I'm like, oh my God, now I've got to walk back out into the car park with a hundred million Indians and my poor boyfriend sitting there. And I'm like, oh God, here we go. Open the door and it was like, like ah walk of shame and he's there and he goes oh I told the taxi to go because you were taking such a long time and I'm like you did grab the Led Zeppelin CD didn't uh, Led Zeppelin tape didn't you and he was like oh no I forgot <clears throat> so there you go two stories